Okay, we are now on 11-4. We're going to do some more problems. This is from page 496. We're going to start with number four. It's multiplying radicals. And we have some very special guest students here today. Uh, let's see what they have to say about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ace Freely. And Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons, give him a tongue. All right, anyway. Um, what about doing this problem, guys? All right. Take it away, Okay, no square root of 25 times the square root of 3. And it's mu it says multiply in the directions. All you got to do is 25 times 3. Yeah. You can reduce this. You're multiplying. <laughs> it's math of kiss, not Glenna. <laughs> You're multiplying. Whatever. What is that? Seven. Um, the truth is on this problem is, if you multiply it out, you just make it more of a problem for yourself. Remember way back when we had fractions like 30 over 71 times, um, let's say, 60 down here, and maybe, let's make that 75, and make that 25. Now, if you were to multiply that out, which you could, you could multiply 30 times 25 and 75 times 60, but it would be messy. So what we do is what Glenn is doing right now, we simplify first. It makes more sense. It's much better to simplify first. So we get a much easier problem, and we end up with 1 6. Now, back here, think simplify. It's better to simplify first and get the root of 25, you should know, which is a perfect square. It's 5 root 3, and we're done right there. That's the problem. We're finished, and you move on. Let's do number, number uh, 10. So wait, the answer is 5 to, uh, 5 root 3. That's it. That's funny, because that does You can't multiply 5 times root 3. We're just working on number 10 here. Um, just stand aside for a second, Glenna. Number 10 is the square root of x minus 3 times the square root of 2x to the plus 4. And you write, when you multiply, you write one big radical, and then you put your x minus 3 and your 2x plus 4 in brackets underneath it and multiply them. Simple as that. Just like you would simple numbers. And it's, when you multiply two binomials, you've got a FOIL. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Minus 3 times 2x is the inside, and minus 3 times 4 is negative 12. Go ahead, Glenna, and write that out. Um, minus 12. There you go. And now you collect like terms. Collect like terms. And you get the square root of 2x squared minus 2x minus 12. That's your answer now. Um, some sharp person might recognize one thing here. What do you see here? Do you see anything? Yeah, you see the two. two, right. So you're going to get the square root of two and then in brackets, square root of two and then in brackets, okay? X squared minus X minus six. Good. There it is, folks. That's your answer. Okay, we're going to work out number 22. We're given root 5B times root 15B and uh, we've already gone ahead and done this, but um, what we, we break it down. We take root 5 times root B because we break the numbers and the letters apart. Root 15B, there's not much we can do other than go root 5 times root 3 times root B. That's about it. Then root 5 times root, what we did is rearrange things so we put the doubles together. Doubles are good. Root 5, root 5 together, root B, root B together. And then root 3, we've got 5b root 3. 5b root 3 is our answer. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. You're trying to break things down till you get doubles. Number 32. Go ahead, Glenna. Number 32 is root 5a times root 20ab. We break root 5a into root 5 times root a. Root 20 goes into root 4. Root 5, root 4, times root 5, times root a, times root b. And Omavi's going to say hi. Come on by. Well, that's it. No, no special high today. Oh, well. Okay. Um, oh, now he's back. No, he's not. Yes, he is. I'll stand aside. He's got to be, be alone. Miss <laughs> <Ms>. black man! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, jokes aside, look what she's doing. Why is she doing that? She's checking these because... I'll do a green check. Why is she checking those? Because they're doubles. We've got root 5 and root 5. That's a good thing. That equals 5. Just put 5 out here. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. Root A times root A is A. Okay? And root 4 equals 2. Times 2. In brackets. Because you know it's times. And now what's left over? Root B. So put root B. And now we're not done because we've got 5 times A times 2. What is that? 10A. 10A. 10A root B is your answer. That's it. Nice job. Thank you very much.
Have any questions? Number 40 is root 12x to the 6 times root 7x cubed times root 42x. We break them down just like we did before. It doesn't matter that we have three radicals. No different than what we've been doing. You break them down. Break each of them down. You break them down until you can't break them down anymore. And once you've broken them all down, put them back together. A little confusion here. Back to this. Someone asked, well, why don't we break down x to the 6 into x to the 5th and x? Well, because why? It's not an odd exponent. We only break down odd exponents. Because with even exponents, we know what the answer is. We know what the square root of x to the 6 is. It's x cubed, which we write here. Um, and why? Because x cubed times x cubed is equal to x to the 6. So that's all we need. But whereas in x cubed, that's different. We do break it down into x squared, root x squared times root x. Root x squared is equal to x. Root x, of course, we know as a double, and we were able to figure it out later, but that's how it worked. This root x squared is equal to x, and there it carries through, and it moves over here. x to the fourth times x is x to the fifth. So, you know, there are different paths, different ways to do this, but you do have to follow certain rules. And certain things, if you do them another way, they might cost you more time. So, a little confusion here. Back to this. Someone asks, well, why don't we break down x to the 6th into the x to the 5th and x? Well, because why? It's not an odd exponent. We only break down odd exponents. Because with even exponents, we know what the answer is. We know what the square root of x to the 6th is. It's x cubed, which we write here. Um, and why? Because x cubed times x cubed is equal to x to the 6th. So that's all we need. But whereas in x cubed, that's different. We do break it down into x squared, root x squared times root x. Root x squared is equal to x. Root x, of course, we know as a double, and we were able to figure it out later, but that's how it worked. This root x squared is equal to x, and there it carries through, and it moves over here. x to the fourth times x is x to the fifth. So, you know, there are different paths, different ways to do this, but you do have to follow certain rules. And certain things, if you do them another way, they might cost you more time. So.